Hey folks, how are we doing? So it's been a couple weeks, I think, but been busy, been working hard. Uh, same old, knives are getting a little better. Uh, some new patterns, new model, by the way, I want to show you, Micromako. Uh, this is the first one I did, uh, mine, and this is the last one I have that I'm taking to New York. And uh, they are pretty cool. These are so much fun. You kind of see why it's Micromako. It's identical to the Mako with the modified uh, modified warning blade. And they are just so much fun. Really, really cool blade. Small backspacer. Full on knife. Ground, just like the knife should be. Every little detail in this tiny little thing is just like, you know, just like the large knives from the backspacer to, you know, pocket clips, everything. Everything is the same. A uh, couple things. So I'm going to be listing some knives. So these are the stuff that I'm going to be listing. Last two Ferco, Fair and Forge collaborations. So here's the one with the bark, uh, tree bark finish. Stone wash, nice and lean grind. And uh, I'm letting this one go also. I was going to keep it, but I just, I cannot keep too many of my knives. I mean, <laughs> it's, it would be too much. So this one is pretty cool. I like it, the whole pattern. Drop point Mako. Really grew to like these drop point Makos. Nice lean grind, cool switch. Also that uh, tree bark finish. And you see, you clearly see my contouring on it, still there. Another one, look at that, that one has a pretty cool backspacer and a spine millwork. Just clean lines there, compound grind, stone wash. These ones are <laughs> regular Mako with the modified Warncliffe blade. But in S110, the new thing there for S110 is the logo is blasted through from Waterjet. I did acid stone wash. I haven't done that in a very, very long time, but it was just begging for it. It just looks so cool, so I had to do it on it. Nice and lean grind. Not as lean as my ABL, but still nice and lean. The S110 are not fun to do. Really don't like it. But you know what? A lot of people are asking for some iron steel. I it's more for collectors, honestly. Me personally, I would never pick S110 over ABL for a user knife. It's just much easier to maintain ABL resharpening. Hold skin right is actually more stable edge, and uh, this just stay. It's gonna stay sharp a lot longer. But once you have to resharpen it, it's it's a nightmare. So this one has. Uh, Tree bark on the edges, on the spine, on the pocket clip, and then you have the mill work, just nice and clean lines on the flats. And the last one, I'm gonna let this one go. I thought I'm gonna keep it for the show, but I'm gonna have plenty. So the last front flipper that has the, this one I called micro rock pattern, I think. Satin, blind, uh, satin grind, nice and lean. This is a lot of fun. And, uh, so just to show you some other stuff that I have made here, made this one today. It's also the S110 Mako with the acid, acid wash. Nice and clean lines with the diamond pattern on the flats. And the backspace of work, pretty cool I think. Really like this, they work really well. And like I said before, you know, really good flippers, but also the index finger from the bottom, but also with a little bit of practice, you can flick it open with the thumb as well. So I like this a lot, even though doing the blade is, is not fun. Really like how these are coming out. I only a couple left, but of course more on the way. One more drop point with the bark on the corners, chamfers and the spine, pocket clip, and mixed with the crater on the flats. I like that also. 
It's really cool, like a two-tone bronze finish. Nice lean, nice cool looking switch. And uh, here's one more drop point. This one is actually mine. I'm gonna keep this one. Just a nice clean look to it. Put that micro diamond pattern on the front and the circles in the back. And it's kind of matching to it, but added micro diamond on the back of the handle as well. Is uh, this the regular, no, not the regular, the modified warning Mako with a compound grind. So pretty cool, nice and lean, nice and even. Been having fun, I did a lot of work lately, so I mean, people that follow on Instagram say it. I'm working hard to get some stuff to show to people, probably leave a bunch of stuff with, you know, people like Blade HQ, True North Knives and Arizona Custom that's gonna be in the New York show and cannot wait to meet all the friends there, all the guys. So guys, I hope you can make it there. It's the 21, 22, 23, if I remember right, November end of November so definitely don't miss it if you're in the area guys thank you for watching hope everybody's well take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself